studio today, we've got JJ French, guitarist with Said Group. JJ, the last time I saw your show this week in London, but the last time I saw you in the band play, it must have been nearly two years ago. I mean, that's a long time not to see a band. What have you been doing? Uh, well, we, first of all, we had uh, intended to come back here much sooner. And I was the one who opened my big mouth at Hammersmith and said, we'll be back in the fall. And <laughs> that's you know, right. I'm the one that has to deal with people. I said, I thought you said you'd be back in the fall. What happened? Well, what happened was uh, this album called Stay Hungry, which mm -hmm. we, uh, at, our, at our greatest expectation, thought would sell maybe uh, half a million records in the States and maybe um, 300,000 the rest of the world loads sold more, 4 million worldwide and all of a sudden every country wants you to play. Um, we wound up going gold and platinum in 15 countries. Now when this happens all of a sudden um, your management office gets these phone calls and Japan wants you, New Zealand wants you, Australia wants you, Sweden, Denmark, so on and so forth. Up until then the only people who wanted us was yeah, but, Great Britain, yeah, but they don't God count. bless We're you. They're the only ones you should be playing of to. Course. You know, first and, on the list. Always. And, um, and the United States. And the, the, the interesting thing was, the album sold phenomenally in every country except <laughs> Great Britain. Well, that will and teach you not to play it. Yeah, well, you right, see. Right. So we sat there and we said, well, we really want to come here, and yet every, every one of these countries you know, is screaming to come here. And since all these other countries were profitable, England has never been. And, it, and under ideal circumstances, it never is profitable to come here. The most you can do is, ever, is break even. This is something that most musicians, I guess, in the business don't ever want to talk about because it's a drag that the fan sits at home and says, well, I don't care. They're not supposed to make any money. They're supposed to be doing it for the love of music, which is true on one side of it. On the other side of it is, as you get more popular, unfortunately, your business starts expanding at an ever-increasing incre rate, and you have to start paying all these people for doing God knows what, getting you tea in the afternoon or whatever. So we, were, we did this one-year tour. It was basically supposed to be a five-month tour. We did a month here, mm -hmm. and we go back to the States for a month, and we're supposed to come back to the UK for a month, and that would have been nice and, and neat. But all of a sudden, we wound up touring month after month, with Dio, with Rat, with Maiden, then over to New Zealand and, and then to Australia and to Japan. The tour lasted 11 and a half months. And at the end of 11 and a half months, someone says, well, are you ready to go back to Great Britain? And we all went, oh. All right, well, look, seeing as you're here, before, before you go any further, let me make you pause for breath. We're going to show your video. This is Leader of the Pack. That was Leader of the Pack and Twisted Sister. JJ French. Now, what's all this you were telling me about while we were showing that video? You've got a new video which we're not going to be allowed to see. What's no, all this? No. It's, uh, it's a song called Be Cruel to Your School. And off we, the album. Off the album. And we made a video and it has become so controversial that nobody has been allowed to see it, including members of the band. I have yet to see a final <laughs> cut. And they're really keeping it from all of us. Well, what's so hor horrendous about it? What I don't think done? a thing is, is horrendous. If you like movies like Dawn of the Dead or, um, or Night of the Living Dead or anything with the well, like good wholesome yeah, stuff. Good right? wholesome, yeah. Um, Horror. Uh, mom, apple pie, and so on and so forth. Uh, the video, the, the basic premise of the video is that um, a teacher is losing control of an otherwise normal classroom. And uh, he goes into the, uh, the teacher's uh, rest area, you know, I guess where they have their own um, you know, study area or whatever. And he's just complaining that the, the, the kids won't pay any attention to him. And the, the actor who plays... This, this guy is a comedian named Bob Goldthwaite, who, as a matter of fact, is in the Leader of the Pack right. video. He's the guy who goes, she'll be back at the end, that very nervous fa the father. And he starts ranting and raving about how the kids don't pay any attention to him, and he's very upset. And he notices another teacher sitting down on a chair, and the teacher's listening to some music and headphones, and he says, you mind if I join you? He puts the headphones on, and the camera goes up very close, and all of a sudden, one teacher turns into D, one teacher turns into Alice Cooper, the rest <laughs> of the teachers turn into us, and we walk out of the classroom, at which point we are overwhelmed by a hall full of zombies. And the students have now become zombies, and their job is to attack and destroy us. And during the course of the video, in various parts of the school, like the lunchroom, the music room, et cetera, et cetera, various acts of attempted violence against the band by the students takes place, and we fight our way through this cacophony of disgust and gore, and it really, it took four days to, to do, it was very, very difficult, and it was probably one of the most expensive video shoots that's ever been attempted, and, uh, and we're not going to say it, nobody has seen it, and uh, as a matter of fact, there's so much controversy right now, because MTV has said it's too violent that uh, a recent New York newspaper, a very large New York newspaper, has just uh, did a full-page article on what they think is the travesty that it's being kept away from people. It's no worse than any of these other movies where, where you can go to a movie theater and right, see it. It's right. a slash movie, but it has a lot of fun. Well, if we can get our hands on it, perhaps we can bend a few arms and see if we'll show it on the show. Oh, I think it would be fantastic. All right, JJ French, thank you very much for coming in. Enjoy the rest of the tour. I wish you luck.